Oh, is this a hot story? <sighs> A shocking sleepover scandal. Two mothers are arrested, accused of hosting a sleepover for teenage boys that investigators say turned into a sex show. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> show. CBS 3's Todd Quinones has more on what police say was an outrageous night. Outrageous night. Outrageous night. Outrageous night. Oh, he's getting all worked up, too. Oh, yeah. Hot story. Tell us about the outrageous night. Outrageous night. As more on what police say was an outrageous night. Night. According to court documents, 38-year-old Angela Honeycutt was dancing for... Oh, my God. BJ's <laughs> over in Korea fighting the war, and Angela Honeycutt here whoring around. Poor little Erin was probably asleep. <laughs> yeah. I bet you they were calling her something else. Uh, I night, bet huh? they added in a little letter into that name. That's right. How about we add a little letter? Shunny cut. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Oh, wrong. <laughs> oh, an end. An end, sorry. <laughs> right. Tastes like honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's well, like the two different names you'd call your wife. Honey. <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for dinner. Are you ready to hear about the... Ara- Outrageous no. night. Night. Let hear it. Get talks like the preacher from Poltergeist too. No. 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 But I thought he did. Nope. No. Boo. Just night. Night. According to court documents, 38-year-old Angela Honeycutt was dancing provocatively in front of the teenagers, and that in referring to one juvenile specifically, Honeycutt exposed her breasts to him and asked him to touch her breasts. This rocks. <laughs> well, who should be shot for ratting them out? <laughs> hmm. We talk about this because it, yeah, who's the rat? It is so a double standard. Like guys, when we're growing up, we dream about this stuff, right? Right, guys. Yeah, of course. And then there's one, yeah. one guy that ruins it, Killjoy, and tells mommy because you're still playing with like Hot Wheels mm-hmm. and baseball cards. And riding your 10 speed. Don't ruin it for everybody else. Yeah. This, this is hot stuff, and, and no, one's gonna, no one's life is going to be ruined. Keep your yap this, shut. As far as this stuff goes. Those are them. And asked him to yeah. touch her breasts. Did you have anything, any comment at all? No. Okay, thank you. Honeycutt said little after her legal proceeding on Wednesday. In April, police contend Honeycutt's friend, 45 year old Lynn Long, a mother of three, who knew the uh, Carol Burnett was so naughty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look like her. What's the problem? I mean, you know, it, it, how old were the kids? I mean, if this, this Miss Honeycutt lady is, is showing her breasts, how old were they? I'm going to guess, uh, when does it get creepy for guys? Eight? Nine? More? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. one... I'm not. That's, even, that's a little creepy. I'm not even kidding. Like you're 12, and and this is going yeah. on. Yeah. I'm. You know, this is what you dream about. In your room at night while mommy and daddy are watching, laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> laughing? What are you, on the board of the 4th of July? It's the Sammy Davis episode. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think some crazy stuff while mommy and daddy are watching, like, whatever, the love boat downstairs. <laughs> Content, Honeycutt's friend, 45 year old Lynn Long, a mother of three, was chaperoning a sleepover for the six boys at her lower Makefield town. Lynn oh, Long! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Other than two mature, supposedly mature women taking advantage of immature minor boys. All right, so they're under 18. I don't. Did they say the age yet? Yeah, you got to know the age. If they're like 16, 17, I'll leave everyone alone. Absolutely. They should be hit with bats for snitching. Mm-hmm. Of course they should. How old are they? How old? Come on, Iraq. Iraq. Hey, investigators, Lynn was in her own bedroom with some of the boys as Honeycutt undressed in front of him and the other juveniles, and that Honeycutt then went into the bathroom and turned on the shower. That's when police allege Honeycutt had sex with a 14-year-old boy. When she... No problem with this. Not at all. I have no problem with this. These kids suck. Who mm. was the rat? Who was the rat? Mother, I have to tell you something. I feel dirty. Miss <laughs> Honeycutt made me go to the shower with her. Touch her private parts. Are you okay? I'm fine. Better than ever. <laughs> Who do we have in the studio today? What do you mean? 
The Voice. Oh. Ted the Victim. <laughs> <laughs> You made me hold her bosom. <laughs> what? What happened, Ted? You're all right. I was very frightened. Of who? Of the woman's bosoms. I thought they were two faces <laughs> with just one big red eye on each one. I've never seen them before. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled out my trousers. <laughs> do you do you agree with the double standard thing? Thirty-eight, no. forty-six-year-old guy with a fourteen-year-old girl. Creepy. No. I think. Oh. Oh, all right, it's creepy. Yes. And then, uh, but a 38, 46 year old woman with a fourteen year old boy not as creepy. Yeah. Just how it is. Yeah. No, I wasn't the guy that ruined everyone else's fun. I was not that guy growing up. The rat. I was not the rat. You weren't the tattletale. There was never anything going on to rat out. No. Back then, I remember being uh, fifteen, making every move possible.